Welcome to Animal Farm Africa, your gateway to the captivating world of aquaculture. Today, we're embarking on a quick journey into various systems of raising shrimps and prawns. So fasten your seatbelts as we dive into the diverse methods that make up this thriving industry in Nigeria and Africa. First is the pond-based farming. Our voyage begins with the most common method, pond-based farming. Here, expansive ponds are meticulously crafted to nurture and raise these delectable crustaceans. It's an art that's been perfected over the years. Next is raceway farming. As we flow into the next chapter, we encounter raceway farming. These intricate channels allow water to flow continuously, ensuring efficient water use and simplified waste management. It's an elegant dance of nature and technology. Next is tank-based farming. Our journey takes a turn as we delve into tank-based farming, where shrimps or prawns thrive indoors within specialized tanks. Precision and control are the name of the game here. On to the next, which is Integrated Multitrophic Aquaculture, or IMTA for short. Shrimps or prawns coexist with other organisms like seaweed or fish, creating a mutually beneficial ecosystem. It's a true ecological marvel. Next is Bioflock Technology. In the heart of our adventure, we uncover Bioflock Technology. Here, microorganisms in the pond water team up to break down waste, reduce water usage, and supercharge shrimp or prawn growth rates. It's the microscopic heroes at work. Next is Recirculating Aquaculture, Systems, or RAS. As we plunge deeper, we encounter RS. This high-tech method uses closed systems to raise shrimps or prawns with water continuously filtered and recirculated. It's aquaculture on the cutting edge. Next is offshore farming. Our journey takes a bold turn as we venture into open sea cages. Offshore shrimp or prawn farming provides a more natural environment, giving our aquatic friends room to roam as they would in the wild. And the last system is the free-range farming. Finally, we reach the open waters, lakes, dams and rivers, where shrimps or prawns enjoy the freedom of open-range farming. It's farming with the spirit of the wild. But just like any adventure, each of these shrimp or prawn farming systems has its unique advantages and challenges. Farmers must carefully consider factors like location, available resources, and the tastes of their target market. So whether you're intrigued by the precision of tank-based farming, the ecological harmony of IMTA, or the adventure of offshore farming, there's a place for everyone in this vibrant world of shrimp and prawn farming in Nigeria and Africa. Next, we look at the types of shrimps or prawns used for farming. In Nigeria and Africa, there are several types of shrimps or prawns that are used for shrimp or prawn farming in Nigeria and Africa, some of which are giant tiger prawn. This is one of the most commonly farmed species of prawn. It is a fast-growing species and is known for its large size and delicious taste. White leg shrimp. This is another popular species that is commonly farmed in Nigeria and Africa. It is a hardy species that can tolerate a wide range of water conditions. Blue shrimp. This species is known for its bright blue color and is popular in the ornamental shrimp trade. Freshwater prawn. This species is well suited for farming in freshwater ponds and is known for its large size and mild flavor. Pacific white shrimp. This species is commonly farmed in Asia but is also grown in Nigeria and Africa. It is known for its fast growth and high yield. Indian white prawn. This is a popular species in India, but it is also farmed in other parts of the world, including Nigeria and Africa. Red claw crayfish, 
Although not technically a shrimp or prawn, the red claw crayfish is a popular freshwater crustacean that is farmed in Nigeria and other parts of Africa. It is known for its large size and meaty flesh. Farmers in Nigeria and Africa choose the shrimp or prawn species to farm based on their local market demand, farming techniques and environmental conditions. Each species has unique growth patterns, feeding habits and water quality requirements, making it important for farmers to select the right species based on their farming conditions and market demands. And finally, on today's episode, we look at the rearing and breeding seasons for shrimps or prawns in Nigeria and Africa. Shrimp or prawn farming in Nigeria and Africa requires careful consideration of the rearing and breeding season. In general, the rearing season for shrimps or prawns in Nigeria and Africa is from November to May, while the breeding season is from June to October. This is due to the fact that shrimps or prawns reproduce during the rainy season when the temperature and water quality are ideal for breeding. During the rearing season, shrimps or prawns are stocked in ponds or tanks and grown to a marketable size. Farmers need to ensure that the water quality is optimal and the shrimps or prawns are fed a balanced diet to ensure healthy growth. During the breeding season, mature shrimps or prawns are placed in breeding ponds and the water quality and feeding regime are carefully monitored to encourage successful breeding. It is essential for shrimp or prawn farmers in Nigeria and Africa to have a good understanding of the rearing and breeding season to maximize their yield and ensure the health of their stock. As our journey into the fascinating world of shrimp and prawn farming comes to an end, remember that the secrets of this thriving industry are waiting to be discovered. These systems provide not only delicious seafood, but also a myriad of opportunities and challenges that shape the aquaculture landscape in Nigeria and Africa. Join us on Animal Farm Africa for more insightful explorations in the world of agriculture. Until next time, stay hooked on knowledge.